are into Santiphon. The Lord has led you into the land of flowing with milk and honey, that the law of the Lord may be always on your lips. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and therefore prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace peace to people people of goodwill. We praise praise you. you. We bless you. you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God, Heavenly Heavenly King, King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten begotten Son, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, Father, you take away the sins of the world, world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, world, receive our prayer. You are are seated seated at the right hand hand of the Father, Father, have mercy mercy on us. For you alone are are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you, and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus, the Nazarene, was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and the foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad, and my tongue has exulted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus, of this we all are witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. 
Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, My Lord are you. O Lord, my lot apportioned and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, for you are my hope. <coughs> I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, for you are my hope. Therefore, my heart is glad, and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, for you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, for you are my hope. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priest all that had happened. The chief priest assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if it gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated <coughs> among the Jews to this present day, the Gospel of the Lord. As we enter these stories of the resurrection and people discovering the resurrection, there are many different reactions, varied reactions to the discovery of Jesus, his missing body, and so forth. And uh, today we hear a barely uh, outlandish story where, you know, the guards, uh, well, they saw the tomb was empty. And what happened? How did he get out? They didn't, uh, and of course, uh, they knew they were in trouble because they were supposed to be guarding and he's supposed to stay in there. As a, as a corpse, he was supposed to stay there. So notice what the chief priest uh, tell them, uh, tell them how, what the, the, a lie they could tell others when they're questioned, questioned by other authorities. The lie they tell is that, well, the disciples came to steal him while we were asleep. Now, how could you know what happened if you're sleeping? You know, anything could happen. So th what a ridiculous, what a ridiculous uh, uh, excuse that is while we were asleep. When we think of the different reactions to the... Um, uh, uh, resurrection. We have, of course, Mary Magdalene, who approaches with great love, with with tears to the tomb, and next thing you know, Jesus appears to her, mentions her name, and she believes, and actually there she sees the risen Lord, and he tells her to go to Galilee and you know, tell the apostles to meet them in Galilee. And uh, So she's gotten the title now. She's called the uh, 
the apostle of the resurrection, the apostle of the resurrection to the apostles, she tells the other apostles. So when you think of how the different people reacted, again, looking at the, the chief priest, all they were concerned about was maintaining their power that they had. And they didn't even want to think about what really meant that the tomb was empty, that, that he is risen from the dead, that he has power over death. They didn't want to think about it. The guards were just looking out to save their own necks so they wouldn't get in trouble for you know, doing a, what seemed to be a terrible job. They were not very good at guarding Jesus, but of course it was beyond their control. And so we see all these different reactions. So we believe in the resurrection. You know. Jesus is risen, indeed he is. He has risen, yes. But we, sometimes maybe we see the resurrection as an historical fact, which I believe certainly that is really the ultimate historical fact of the, of the human race, of civilization. That it's a historical fact. And maybe we look back even in, and see it as a biblical fact. And it is a biblical fact. It's true. But how well do we really believe in it? I think the way we should really believe in it is asking the Lord for an increase of expectant faith. If we believe that Jesus is truly risen, we see him working right now. We, see, we experience his risen presence. And, and things that happen around us in our lives and healings and in all different ways. He is working. He is arisen. This is not a story just for the past. He's among us. And particularly we know that he's in our sacraments, and especially in his fullness of his presence, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Eucharist. But we need to say, yes, we believe. And we, have, we want to increase, Lord, increase expectant faith. This is a charismatic gift. We're encouraged to ask for it, that more and more we become more aware of his working behind the scenes or manifesting his presence in, in a variety of ways and big miracles, little miracles, however, but he's among us and he is risen. So as, the, as I wrote the article for the paper, what um, with the Eastern Rite Catholics say, and rightly so, they go around greeting each other during this Easter season, an octave, they go, uh, Jesus is risen, and the people respond, indeed he has, indeed he is risen. The Lord has promised to hear the prayers of our faithful, and so let's uh, lift our hearts and intentions to him. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to bless and sustain all who live her holy mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of the world, may the good news of Jesus Christ guide all nations and people to peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are struggling with addiction, may the healing presence of Jesus transfer their lives for the better. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this holy place, may the blessings of this Easter season fill us with joy in the Lord, who calls us to be his chosen people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have passed away, may the Lord grant them eternal life, and may perpetual light shine upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today's Mass is offered for Cynthia M. Drusus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's continue to pray for peace in the Holy Land, the Middle East, and also in Ukraine and Haiti. We pray to the Lord. And let's pray. Look, O God, our Father, upon the prayers that your people have brought before you through the risen Christ, your Son, who is in reigns with you, in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Humble himself to share in our blessing. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people that renewed by confession of your name by, and by baptism they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud ye and more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising he stored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism they may attain unending Happiness to Christ our Lord. To you, Lord, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition to Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all those who hold to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clemens, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help.
Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count among the flock of those you have chosen. Therefore, Lord, we pray also for those who have been given new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of their sins. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread into his holy and venerable hands, with eyes raised to heaven, to O God, his almighty Father. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice into his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Be proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension from into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and a chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that of all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, who go sinners, servants, your sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Amid us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through him, you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, uh, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, 
and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And least not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, so by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this minion of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ and the life of the rest we receive it. And receiving the body and blood. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For I am not worthy to enter my roof, but only you say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body Christ be received. Our communion antiphon. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. The body of Christ. The body 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 Christ. Amen.
this pastime which is through the Lord, and we possess in purity of heart, it was given to us in time, may be our healing for eternity. Those who are participating by YouTube will do an act of spiritual communion written by St. Alphonsus Liguri. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. So can I at this moment receive you sacramentally Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For those of us who have just received Holy Communion, we can say to Jesus, I embrace you as you're already here in my soul and in my heart. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those who have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The mighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia.
St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into us Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl to the world, seeking ruinous souls. Amen.